channel. Make it a little bit bigger. OK, so today we are on number 18. Abuse that is not accepted. Shakyamuni Buddha and the heretic. One day, a young heretic approached Shakyamuni and began to heap abuse on him. Shakyamuni listened silently, and when the heretic had finished, asked gently, Do you sometimes invite your relatives over to your home on festival days and entertain them? Of course I do. What if they didn't eat the food you served them? What would you do then? Nothing. The food would just be left over. You gave me much abuse just now, but if I decline to accept it, whose will it be? Even if you decline to accept it, it is still yours since I gave it to you. No. For if I do not accept it, you have given me nothing at all. Well, then explain what it means to accept or not accept. Accepting what is offered means yelling back at someone who yells at you, returning anger for anger, hitting back when someone hits you, or fighting back when someone picks a fight. If you remain indifferent, then you have not accepted anything. Do you mean that you never lose your temper no matter how you are abused? Solemnly, Shakyamuni Buddha replied with a verse. The wise man knows no anger, though storms may rage against him. His mind is placid and calm. Answering anger with anger is for fools alone to do. I was a fool. Please forgive me. The young heretic prostrated himself in tears before Shakyamuni Buddha and swore to follow him. Okay, very good. It's a very heartwarming story and very uh, thought-provoking, I would say, uh, because very few people can pull this off. We easily get triggered. That's our problem. <laughs> yeah. And that's because we have a lot of unresolved issues from our past, which we are trying to resolve by listening to the Dharma. The more we listen and practice the six parameters, the more we see that uh, everything is a reflection of the seeds I have been planting. So we let go and we have something more important to be busy with which is our inner joyfulness, inner fulfillment and peace, listening to the Dharma. So we don't respond to anger with anger. That's also the first day of the month, the saying. Um, yeah, and I feel like culturally people have come a long way uh, from that. Uh, it's, so this is not easy to practice. And when I was a teenager, I think, yeah, if I had some arguments with my older brother and uh, yeah, I would feel so powerless and furious and I didn't know what to do. I didn't have wisdom. And my mom always told me, you don't respond to anger with anger. Uh, the response to the fools is silence. Like whoever wants to tease you or pull your leg or, you know, they just want they want to get a kick out of seeing you angry or upset. So you just remain silent or don't get triggered. Yeah, it's a chance for us to ask ourselves, why does this make me so mad? Something about me is being shown to me. We can be grateful, actually, like the other story. It's a change irritation to appreciation. It's teaching us something. So, uh, yeah. If there is anger, that's because of my own desires is not being fulfilled. So which of my five desires is not being fulfilled and why? What can I do about them? And, uh, yeah. 
So if you respond, that means you accepted the insult. Because we try to defend ourselves. Like, you know, let's say someone comes and tells me, oh, um, you're so foolish. And I'm like, I feel insulted. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And I want to prove why I'm not foolish. So in a sense, I accepted the offering that I am foolish. But in my own mind, if I have done a lot of <clears throat> spiritual work to know who I am, what other people say about me is not really who I am. If we know our authentic self, it shouldn't be shakeable or it shouldn't sway right or left based on what other people say. So as we learn the Dharma more and more, we are walking closer and closer to the mirror of Dharma, which is reflecting our authentic self. If we are grounded in that truth, what other people say will not uh, shake our spirit or our mindset uh, too much. We are not a Buddha yet. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the beauty of walking the spiritual journey and sharing with other people too. And we can cover it in the meetups or our one-on-one -on -one sessions in more depth. So good job, everyone, for being here, practicing together. We're going to have our uh, Right View Lab, 8 p.m. Pacific, and have a wonderful start of your week. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Gary, everyone. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, good to have you. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye.